Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Witch Queen season of Plunder Intel. And this is going to be a very special video as this is something I've been trying to make since the launch of the season, though to this point unsuccessfully. If you've watched any content on my channel previously, you'd know I like to solo farm the raids as much as possible in order to get things like Spoils of Conquest or if you've completed any encounter in the raid previously, you can get the legendary gear as well as legendary weapons. Well, I finally found a glitch that will allow you to get not one, but all three of the secret chests from the new re-released King's Fall raid absolutely solo. I also have a possible cheese that will allow you to farm out the Touch of Malice a little bit easier if it's something you're going for as I'm sure many people are. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell, the post notification that's right next to the big red subscribe button so you never miss out on any future content. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Any of those things I just mentioned also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel and I do one every thousand subscribers so you never want to miss out. And of course, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that next giveaway a second time for this video. And remember those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. And before I get too far into the content, I would also like to give a big shout out to A2TC for allowing me to use their clip today. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Absolute beast of a player. Their YouTube channel will be linked also in the description box. Please go subscribe and check them out. And of course, a shout out to my clan and raid group. Shout out to Ducky, Minge, DJ, Lord Cognito, and of course, Sinister. Without them, I wouldn't have been able to get through the raid and get the Touch of Malice on my very first run. Couple of caveats to this glitch. One, you will need to complete the first encounter. Now, it's sort of a half encounter, it's not that difficult. I've seen two people do it, but if it's not something you're interested in doing, unfortunately, there's no way to skip it. So maybe just LFG to this part, which is the first big jumping puzzle. From this point on, you can do everything else solo as you'll be skipping most of the encounters going out of bounds for quite a few different sections. The first area, you don't need to do any of that. You just need to make your way across the big gap and make sure that you can get up onto the ledge. Now there is an invisible care kill barrier right above you as you go through the archway. But if you can sword skate, it makes this whole thing a lot easier. This can be done on all three classes. You need a sword with Eager's Edge, which gives you the ability to basically lunge slightly further forward right after you've swapped weapons. So you swap weapons and then do your heavy attack while activating your super at the same time. This propels you forward. As I said, it can be done on all classes, though for this particular glitch, I think a Warlock is going to be a necessity as Warlocks also have Heat Rising as well as Icarus Dash, which can extend the duration of the Sword Skate. Now up until this point, we've just sword skated through. That's the only thing you really need in order to get through some of that. Though I think there are ways on a Warlock you can get around most of that just by using maybe your Super and or Heat Rising. But now we've made our way outside of the map. Now it does get a little bit dark here at times, but know that once you're in there, it's a little bit easier to see as you can kind of use the edge of the map to guide you. Now this spot might only be able to be done on a Warlock because there is an invisible barrier that they have to actually get through. They're not going over the top of it. Now you really need to have something with a lot of speed in order to get through that spot. I don't know if anything other than Blink will work. Of course you could do it possibly on a Hunter now, but getting to that spot on a Hunter might be a little bit difficult in and of itself. If you do get through that spot on another class, please let me know as I would really like to know how you did that. 
I'm sure somebody will prove me wrong. Now, here it does seem very dark, but know that you can see the edge of the map to your left to sort of guide you. And you want to make your way to this bit of platforming. We are underneath the second secret chest. I know a lot of this seems precarious, but they are going very, very fast. So you can take your time with a lot of this, and we will be looting the second secret chest from underneath the map. I would also suggest maybe bring an emote with you that emits a lot of light if you get lost in any particular section. I know right here it seems like they're just floating through the void, but know that they can sort of see the map to their left. It will be a little bit brighter when you're in there yourself. The most difficult parts of this glitch are actually done already. I know that they're making it look very easy, but please know that you can take more time with these things. Maybe use your supers more often. If you use your super and wait for that to constantly come back, you don't really need to worry about the sword skating quite as much. And you, of course, have a backup if you fall. That'll always bring you back. Of course, you also have heat rising. Now, at this point, you just get to this load zone, and then you're going to kill yourself. And then you'll be able to spawn back inside the map in order to get the third secret chest. Now, if you've never done any of the raid before, there is an invisible bridge that brings you to this cubby hole that we'll be going to. Or if you're a boss like A2TC, you can just fly there. I mean, why not? They've flown everywhere in this particular video. But here you will find the third secret chest. And of course, you can get more spoils, gear, or weapons. So I would suggest go back, maybe watch that a little bit slowed up as there are some parts that maybe are a little bit more complicated, but it actually is pretty straightforward once you're there. You can sort of see where the objects that you want to land on are and the direction you want to go in once you kind of know the bearings. It does get brighter once you're in there, so just keep that in mind. Then reference back to the video maybe once you're actually doing it and you can kind of get the sight lines. Now on to the touch of malice. Now I got this on my very first run. How? Well, I'm not totally sure, but I have an idea. One, I believe that there is some overlapping RNG in Destiny where some raids you'll simply get all the loot you want really early. And sometimes you won't get it at all. There's no middle ground. So in the Vault of Glass, I got the Vex Mythoclass on my second run. And it actually wasn't even a full run. It was just a boss kill. I know people who still haven't gotten the Vex Mythoclass. Now at the same time, I have never gotten the Eyes of Tomorrow, even though I've completed Deepstone Crypt probably 70 times, maybe more than any current raid in the game. Certainly not uh, less than King's Fall or Vault of Glass. So how is it that I haven't gotten the Eyes of Tomorrow, but I've gotten the Vex Mythoclass Class and the Touch of Malice, both the latter on my first run or second run? It's very simple. The more people, I believe, that have the weapon previously, the higher the chance that somebody who doesn't have it in a particular raid group will get that weapon. So that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful or interesting. As I said, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Destiny 2 content like this. And for the secret hashtag, you can leave in the comment section down below. Leave a hashtag Kingsfall. I'm Wilhelm Scream once again, and of course, we will see you in the next video.